to my beginner's guide to redstone. Today we'll be looking at clocks and pulses. And to start off with, we're going to be looking at the five clock. And to make a five clock, you need block, two spaces, block, two spaces, block, and then you kind of going across one from the middle and two up like that. And then from there, you can go this, like not like that like that and then connect it up with redstone and you'll see that it starts uh, basically blinking and um, look what happens when I connect to this piece it stops the whole circuit because if you watch it goes into a corner piece from a straight piece so this doesn't get power so it can't turn off and continue the loop so you have two options place it on top of the block and then go like that or you can draw it from the torch, which is generally what I do, but it's up to you. Now, okay, there's also four clocks which go like this. You need to basically zigzag your blocks up so you have four of them. Then the redstone torches go like this. And then you can connect the redstone all the way around. that and then basically you just want to connect up all of this all of it like there we go and now it shouldn't burn out and this is the fastest clock you can make but it just did burn out but did it it's still going so I take it as it didn't it was just making funky sounds yeah no I've done it right this is a four clock and it is faster than a five clock as well as still stable so you can use that and obviously you can just draw from anywhere and it should be fine. I mean there's a few points that you can't but like that. But yes, yeah, so that's a four clock. Now, these are all unstables. These this is a three clock here. And when I connect it up it goes really fast but it burns out because it's too fast. So you can see, and then this there's a one clock and it goes really fast and uh, burns out and this is the same speed except it doesn't burn out as fast it's a rapid pulsar and oops, just place the blocks on top of there and there we go it's going to burn out each torch once so one two three four and yeah it goes a little bit crazy so that's a rapid pulsar and that can last for a while it does sometimes freeze up but not very safe or you know stable that's basically it for the tutorial. It's a um, pretty brief one, but there's not much to talk about with clocks and pulses. They just can be used for lots of different things. Like if you wanted, you can make a, a machine that has tons and tons and tons of doors that just go on and off all the time. And uh, that would be annoying. But you could do that. And if you, you know, liked the tutorial or thought it was helpful or thought it would help other people, you know, click the like button, comment about any questions or suggestions, and uh, subscribe for more videos. So thank you for watching, and I'll see you guys later.